Please welcome Bo Burnham. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Bo Burnham. Happy to be here, Trevor. This is so good to have you, man. Um, your journey has been one that I, I have watched and enjoyed from afar for a very long time. Mm. And then I met you in the comedy scene, but Bo Burnham, for so many people, was one of the first, quote unquote, internet sensations. Yeah, Bo, Bo Burnham for most people was who, but yes. Um, <laughs> for some people, I was an, an internet sensation, which is a term I love. <laughs> Yeah, baby. <laughs> a sensation. So, so, so here you are as Bo Burnham. You are uh, this savant and this comedy genius, like music and comedy and making everything. And then you, yeah. you step out into, into the, onto the stage, mm. you know. And what really intrigued me is when you talk about the stories of how uncomfortable you were in a space where you seemed completely comfortable. Yeah, I mean, I was having panic attacks on stage uh, regularly, which is uh, chill. Um, and yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I would talk about my specific anxieties of being on stage performing, thinking that they were specific to what I was at the time, a 25-year-old right. male comedian with an audience. And I would do my shows and talk about that, and 13-year-old girls would come up to me after and say, I feel exactly like you do. And I'd go, what? <laughs> no, but truly. So, you know, if there was a bridge I had to walk right. to uh, make this movie, it was built by them to me. I felt understood by eighth grade girls before. People, <laughs> truly, truly, people always said like, ah, he's just a comedian for eighth grade girls. And at a certain point I was like, hell yeah I am. And I made a movie. Yeah, but you know what's great is that, is that it, genuinely you made a movie that like seems like it's so specific and yet I feel like it speaks to everything that most people go through in life. And yeah. you look at this movie, you, you have a fantastic story about a young girl who's going through her final week of eighth grade. Mm. And it's also about the impact of social media on her life. Did, like, did you find parallels between your life and the story that, that we're told of her life in this film? Yeah, I, I just set out to talk about how I was feeling, and then I found out I was feeling like an eighth grader. Truly, I feel like usually this, there's a sort of crappy narrative that the only stories about the human condition are about some, like, poet in the woods or some dude with a sword. Why can't it be about, you know, a girl walking into a pool party? Why can't everyone see themselves in right. her in the way we usually do for older male characters. You have been part of internet culture for yeah. a longer time than many people. You've been intrinsically connected to it for a long time. Yeah. Do you, like, do you see that? Is that what you put in the movie? Because there are parts in the movie where I'm watching it and I'm going, yeah, we do that. We, we want to be seen by people like in the not real world, yes. but the people in the real world are trying to have conversations with us and we don't care. We're all, we're all doing this thing, trying to see where the likes come from. Right. Is, is that something you've experienced? Is that why you put that in the movie? Yeah, I mean, my, my impulse really was the more I engaged with the internet, the less authority I felt I had over it. And, and there's so much commentary about the internet. There's so many people getting up and talking about like cyberbullying and Russia, you know what I mean? And there's a subtler conversation to be had, which is like, how is it interfacing with our hearts? Um, I didn't want to have the sort of finger wagging movie. There's a lot right. of movies that seem like they're, you know, they try to like shove the internet into it where it feels like a Taco Bell commercial where it's like, hashtag Chalupa, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it's like, it's like, can you, can you talk about, can you talk about, should I not say that? Taco Bell's great. Um, uh, <laughs> no, but I just wanted to, t there's, there's so much commentary about the internet. There's not a lot of description of it. And just like, I feel like we're all in it. And, and in, in, in 20 years, when the kids in my movie become social scientists, I'll be very curious to ha hear what right, they have to right, say about right. it. But until then, it's like, we just need to take emotional inventory because I don't think we've even, even like begun to describe what the internet is, let alone be able to talk about it. Some 50-year-old dusty dude telling me about like, you know, social trends. I'm like, I just uh, stop it. If you were to try and sum up the feeling of the movie in, in, in a short soundbite, what, what would you hope it would be? What, what would you want people to walk away from after watching eighth grade? I hope it feels like eighth grade, which eighth grade is horrible and strange and weird and my body is exploding and help me and woohoo, you know? <laughs> so that's what I hope the movie feels like. Eighth grade feels like right now, which is scary and weird and funny and sad. So uh, yeah, I hope, I hope people just feel, I don't, you know. Feel. Feel. Woohoo. <laughs> Chalupa, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Trevor. Dude, Appreciate thanks so much for being on the show. Eighth grade is in select cities now. You really want to go watch this movie. It'll be in theaters nationwide August 3rd. Go burn them, everybody.